What's up, Ford? I'm Hunter Worlds, Craig from Craig Classic here. I'm out here, here in Bourbon, Missouri. Uh, it's kind of near St. Louis, about an hour hour out. I'm here at uh, Gateway Classic Mustang. They're also Gateway uh, Performance Suspension. Behind me is this 1969, uh, done by the such company. I like it very awesome. That is a Luminator inside there, right? Yes. That's cool. I'm going to be doing a little tour of the shop, uh, having a little fun here. They're going to show me a bunch of parts. And uh, you guys... You guys specialize in suspension, obviously, but it's going to be Crown Vic. Is going to what we're going to see today, most likely? Uh, it's worth the front stuff. Yes. All right, cool. Here we go, guys. Hi, I'm Lonnie Childress with Gateway Classic Mustang and Gateway Performance Suspension. Um, today we're going to talk about some uh, new products coming out from Gateway Performance Suspension. Uh, right here we have our Crown Vic installation kit. Uh, our kit's a little different than others. We think it's a little more complete. Um, basically, what most guys are giving you is a box with a tube like this. Well, first problem is you got lots of room for that bolt to waller around, which means that the front end is probably sliding around on the chassis. So what we're giving you is we're actually buying from Ford the tubes that come inside the Crown Vic chassis. So we have the threaded part up here. We're also supplying you with brand new from Ford, the torque to yield bolts that go in this chassis. If you're reusing these, that is a dangerous situation. These are torque to yield, which means they get torqued and then stretched. Once a torque to yield bolt has been installed, it is no longer any good. It's no longer safe to run. You need to throw those away. We're supplying you with brand new ones. So you're gonna bolt from the bottom through this thread and you're gonna put a torque. We're gonna to give you the torque for that nut or for that bolt. We're also supplying you with the brand new nuts that will go on the top side of that. will hold your uh, upper bracket, uh, your support bracket. Also, we're giving you a boxing plate that's gonna go from your box all the way back to where the cab mount is. Uh, if you're gonna leave that bolt in cross member in because you're running a C4 or something like that, you just trim this off and make it work for you. But we're giving you plenty of material. So basically those are gonna sit in there like that, weld around everything. And like I said, then your boxing plate could go from here. Um, like I said, it's going to go back to about here, I believe, is where we got them laid out to, uh, to fit the boxing plates. If you're going to leave this in, you can obviously trim that off. But uh, still, we've got plenty of support for this frame rail where your lower control arm is going to mount, and you're not going to have any flex issues there. Um, we're giving you a pair of lower control arm mounts. This obviously is going to set your frame right here, and then the other, the back section of your frame is going to sit right here. So you're going to know how this is supposed to attach onto the chassis. The other thing we're giving you is a filler panel that fills right in there so you don't have a big gap between here and no support. Um, so that's going to weld in. You'll, you'll weld all that in. So this is our lower bracket. Um, not, I don't know exactly where it goes on here because I haven't set this up yet. But just to give you an idea, your frame rail, your bottom frame rail is going to fit inside here and inside here. So when you put this on, you know 
that that is going to basically go in like that and that sets that angle then you're going to add this little filler piece so you don't have that big cavity in there now you got good stability and structure so easy peasy the plan is to have a template so that you'll know exactly where these need to be mounted in the truck as, as well as where these mount so it'll be a complete kit with directions templates easy to install Go get gas. <laughs> 